We've been taking data from the football field all the way back since 2004 and putting it in the hands of researchers and football coaches. Okay, so tell me how you get the data from the, you know, actually on the football field onto a website. So what we use is a five zone sensor pad like this one here. Uh, so each helmet, this sensor is integrated into their helmet, really as close to the player's head as you can get. At the beginning of the season on the website, every individual player has a profile created in here with their specific information. But it's always recording, always watching. Always watching, it never stops. So you go out to practice, the helmets turn on on their own. They're gonna check in and communicate with this handheld monitor. Mm -hmm. And all the data you get back from the field is gonna to tie to that player's profile. So now we're taking data that's related to where a player is experiencing impacts and how many and at what magnitude and putting that really in a digested format. The same way they're used to seeing stats, the same way they're used to watching film, we've done that with really highly analytical head impact exposures. But we put it in football language. We could look at one day, Wednesday during the week for a college program here, typically gonna be one of our elevated contact Physical days. days. Correct and we can dive in, not only do we see the same way we saw the month before, this is that one practice. Mm. Yeah, so 345 is a- You called it out. Well, there's a, some kind of, yeah. used to call it Oklahoma drills. I mean, it's some kind of one-on-one, -on -one linebacker, running back, D lineman, all line, whatever it is. I mean, it's, a, it's an intense drill. And that would be what you would expect. But if we look at, on the top here, we have what period they were in in practice. Individual. Individual, right? The drills you were just outlining, those high physicality, individuals, technique coaching, mm. that's schemes. That's, mm. that's you know, small groups of guys. So they're obviously must be hitting each other during this individual. In the same way we, we look at our team, we can go from the team and go to unit uh -huh. and see was it our offensive guys or my defensive guys. So yeah. I need to talk to my O coordinator, my D coordinator yeah. about what they're doing in individual. That's a red flag there for yeah. a position coach. Correct. Dial it down. So I jump down to offense here, and it looks like they got the majority of them in Indy period here. Hmm. And it's their highest contact period during practice. Something's wrong. Hmm. You know, and, and like you just said, you got to talk to that position coach. Maybe he wants to get them after a little bit. Right. What's fascinating is that the player can see. He probably has no idea. Uh, all he's seeing is maybe he's getting beat, right, or he's not blocking well. He has no idea that he's taking all these hits because his head is down. We feel that we can really lead football to a stronger future using this type of technology.